Hello everyone. How is it going? Hope you are all doing fine. So we will talk about structural analysis and a few details of structural analysis in this course. So let's get started. First of all, we will need to know the course course outline. So we will talk about the introduction to soil structural analysis, importance of the structural analysis. Then we will learn about introduction to solid rock simulation. Then process of running structural analysis. Then the running structural analysis on a model. And then we will move to conclusion. So let's move to the next slide. So what is the objective of this course? After completing the course, we, we expect to, to learn the details of structural analysis to know the application of structural analysis and then to learn about different method of structural analysis to learn the details of solid work simulation and to be able to learn structural analysis on different model so without further ado let's move to the course first of all we need to know what is structural analysis so concept, the uh, concept and definition of structural analysis is structural analysis is a comprehensive evaluation to ensure that the deformation in a structure will be lower than the permissible limits and failure of the structure will not occur. It is established the relationship between a structural members expected external load and the structure's corresponding developed internal stresses and displacement that occur within the me member when in service. Structural analysis is particularly important for structural engineers to ensure they completely understand the load paths and the impacts the load have on their engineering design. So it's the basic concept and definition of structural analysis. Hope it's clear to you. Uh, so let's take a deep dive to structural analysis. I will stop the, this video here. We will talk about it later. So, structural analysis usually looks at individual structural elements and the forces they undergo. The job, main job of structural, structural engineer is to look at the structural analysis results for beams, shafts, frames or joints. All of these elements have forces applied to them such as wind loads. It means that uh, when the wind is flowing, how, many, how, how much load will be applied on the uh, uh, object uh, dead loads it may be the dead loads dead, dead loads means the weight of the object uh, or uh, live loads like people or vehicles etc so it is important for the engineer to review how each of these elements behave under these loads this is the core focus of structural analysis now let's look let's take a look at um, the video here right here here you can see it's written stress here and uh, we can if we start from the beginning here uh, this is a shaft with a, a notch in, in the middle of it we can see the stress analysis of this shaft here and uh, if we pause it here uh, but uh, if we pause it here let's get back get back to the here uh, here I, we can see different color of the shaft here and uh, it's uh, uh, it, it, it has deformed from this from its initial position and the color has a similarity with this color band right here so here uh, the load is deforming within these stress limits uh, where there is the color is more reddish the stress is higher and the, where the color is uh, more bluer the, color, the stress is lower if we move forward to the video we will see deformation analysis yeah, here we can see if we pause it right here we can see that this edge is more deformed than the fixed uh, portion right here of this shaft here uh, which is uh, similar as the color of this color band right here so and if we move forward we can see the strain analysis also here we can see the strain analysis and if we pause it right here we can see the red portion right here that means the strain is much higher in this portion 
uh, uh, and in this portion the stress is much lower strain is much lower so this is uh, how structure analysis looks like looks like after completing the course we will be able to uh, uh, run structure this type of analysis on any element or whether it, it is an assembly or a, a definite part file so let's move to the hope this is clear to you now so let's move to the next slide <sighs> we will learn about aim of structure analysis what is the aim why we will do this so the basic objective in the structure analysis is to produce a structure capable of resisting all applied loads without failing during its intended life so the main goal is to design a product that will uh, do its its intended job without failing okay the primary purpose of structure is to transmit or support loads the goal of it is to allow the analyst to slice and dice information about structure of relationships among entities in an enterprise to discover opportunities for improving organizational design and operations so this is the aim of structure analysis let's move to the next one so what are the types of structure analysis we have different type of structure analysis here we can see the first one is static analysis what is st static analysis a static structure analysis determines the displacement stress strain and forces in the structure or components caused by loads that do not induce significant inertia or damping effects as we see in the previous video that was static structure analysis of a shaft with a v notch in the middle of it so now we'll move uh, hope the static analysis is clear now we will move to dynamic analysis what is dynamic analysis dynamic analysis is a type of structural analysis which covers the behavior of structure object to dynamic dynamic means actions having high acceleration so the core point is dynamic loads include people wind waves traffic earthquake and blasts any structure can be subjected to dynamic loading dynamic analysis can be used to find dynamic displacement time time story and model analysis we will learn about dynamic analysis static analysis in the later let's move to stability analysis so what is stability analysis the resistance offered by a structure to undesirable movement like sliding collapsing and overturning it is equal to stability so uh, stability depends upon the support score support conditions and arrangement of members the process of analyzing the stability of any object or assembly is called stability analysis so hope this this part is clear now we have another type of analysis structural analysis that is called vibration analysis vibration analysis is a process that monitors the levels and patterns of vibration signals within a component within a component machinery or a structure to detect the abnormal vibration events and to evaluate the overall condition of the test subject so uh, we learned about the different type of structural analysis here uh, starting analysis dynamic analysis stability analysis and vibration analysis now we will move to the next to our next slide which is method of structural analysis how we can run structural analysis in uh, different objects or designs or models so there are basically three methods of uh, running structural analysis those are hand calculation analysis finite element analysis and structural analysis software that means using structural analysis software so what is hand calculation and structural analysis simple hand calculation are extremely fast and easy way to evaluate effects and simple forces on simple structures we will learn about it in in our uh, later slides finite element analysis uh, is a complex numerical method used to solve complicated problems which contain a number of variable inputs such as boundary conditions applied loads and support types and structural analysis softwares there are a great number of structural analysis software nowadays that can perform accurate 
FEA calculation, FEA means finite element analysis calculations, without the difficulty of having manually set, set up the complex process. So let's move to the next slide. In this slide, we will learn about more about hand calculation structure analysis. So an example of hand calculated structure analysis would be calculating the bending moment forces on a horizontal beam. Let's have we have a horizontal beam and we want to calculate the bending moment force of that. Uh, this bag of envelope calculations, we call we call these calculations back up envelope calculation because uh, we can do this in, uh, in back of a uh, envelope or in a, in a piece of paper when we intend to do them. So the, this bag of uh, Envelope calculations are standard practice in civil engineering. On maximum, maximum, mainly used in civil engineering for those who do not wish to spend long hours designing the structure, but rather to rather wish to know the rough forces a beam will undergo due to applied loads. So hand calculations are mainly a very very simple basic step of running structure analysis, uh, and uh, the maximum a human brain can do in the back of in a piece of paper to uh, design a structure that will not undergo any uh, de uh, any deformation in the future so we will uh, this is mainly the hand calculation process we will now move to finite element analysis so this is the most important part of structural analysis we will this is uh, in this chapter we uh, have included a little about finite element analysis we will learn about finite element analysis in our in our next slides so what is finite element analysis it's mainly a mathematical term in mathematical terms fea or finite element analysis also known as yeah finite element analysis is a numerical technique of solving field problems described by a set of partial differential equations so it is a process of solving partial differential equations those type of problems are commonly found in many engineering disciplines such as machine design acoustics electromagnetism soil mechanics fluid dynamics and others so, in mechanical engineering, especially in mechanical engineering, FEA is widely used for solving structural vibration and thermal problems. FEA is not only to, is not the only tool available for numerical analysis. Other numerical methods used in engineering include finite difference method, boundary limit method, or finite volumes method. These are the other types of method uh, by which we can uh, we can run structural analysis. Sorry for that instructional analysis in different models. However, due to the vers versatility of structural analysis and high numerical efficiency, FEA has come to dominate the software market for engineering analysis, while other methods have been relegated to niche applications. Niche, niche applications. So using FEA, we can analyze any shape, use various ways to utilize the geometry and proceed and produce results with desired accuracy. We will now move to structural analysis software. There are uh, nowadays we have a lot of software to run structural analysis. Uh, there are ANSYS, there are solid rock simulation, there are abacus. So, what is ANSYS? ANSYS mechanical finite element analysis software is used to s simulate computer models of structure, electronics, or machine components for analyzing strength, toughness, elasticity, temperature distribution, electromagnetism, fluid flow and other attributes. And since ANSYS is used to determine how a product will function with different specification without building test products or con conducting crush test. So we cannot run crush test or test products, uh, we cannot run crush, crush test in ANSYS. Now we will move to solid rock simulation. What is solid rock simulation? Solid rock simulation is a design analysis tool based on a mechanical technique called finite element analysis or FEA which we have learned in the previous lecture. So solid work simulation belongs to the family of engineering analysis software developed by SRAC, SRAC, now a part of solid work corporation. Solid work simulation comes in different bundles or application designed to best suit the needs of different users. We will, we will learn solid work, about solid work simulation more in, the, in our uh, next slides. Abacus 
Now we move to Abacus. Abacus is a software suite for finite element analysis and computer aided engineering. Originally released in 1978, the name and logo of the software are based on the Abacus calculation tool. The Abacus product should consist of five core software products Abacus CAE, Abacus Standard, Abacus Explicit, Abacus CFD, Abacus Electromagnetic.